These guys are Hazel and Willow's litters, and they are, Hazel's are five weeks old yesterday, and Willow's are four and a half weeks old. First of all, we're going to talk about the puppies that are still looking for their new homes, and then we'll show you the puppies that have found their new homes. So this handsome lilac lavender guy right here, his name is Avery and he's still looking for his new home. I think he'll be um, 20, probably 25 pound range, uh, the way that he's charting. We weighed them at, at uh, four weeks old, and he weighed, let me just look here quickly, he weighed 3.5, so I'm thinking that that'll put him in that 20 pound range. So this dude here, uh, Avery, has two blue eyes. Can you look over here, buddy? <laughs> he has two blue eyes and he has that beautiful lavender coat. Beautiful husky mask and with a blaze. So next we've got Admiral and he's probably in that same weight range. He was 3.9 pounds at four weeks old. <laughs> Are you getting them? Can you give them kisses? Oh, oh really? <laughs> Is, are you teaching him to submit to you? Hmm? You think you're a tough guy? Oh, Mr. Avery? Okay, so there is Admiral, and he is that rare blue color, and he has that beautiful husky mask. I think both of these guys are going to be I think this guy's probably going to be close to a woolly, if not a woolly, and maybe, maybe Mr. Avery is going to be a longer plush, probably, by the looks of it. <laughs> All right, next we'll move on to a little female called um, Abby, and she has one blue eye and then one party eye. She is that beautiful blue color, too, which is a rare color. The lilacs, the blues, that's all rare colors that uh, not too many kennels are able to produce this color yet. She's 3.6 pounds at four weeks, so I'm thinking that's going to put her close to that 20 pound range, too. <laughs> she likes to be itched, doesn't she? like, are you quitting really, Maddie? I'll get Maddie to turn her over on her back and you can take a look at her. She's not just a huge fan of the collar, is she? <laughs> you can see this eye right here is probably not going to stay totally blue and turn to the other one. Maddie, there you go. This eye here is going to be blue. So this one over here could be a green color. We, her uh, mother kind of has a little bit of green in her eyes, so it's kind of a weird color. Hazel and and uh, Willow's eyes eye color are, is so it's hard to describe. It's kind of a green, not really a hazel. I don't know. I can send you pictures if you're curious of what their eyes look like. But that's little Miss Abby. Okay, so is that it out of that letter, Maddie? <coughs> Apollo. We need Apollo. Apollo is snuggling with Drew over here. And he was 2.3 pounds at uh, four weeks old. And, um, those were all weights at five weeks old. Sorry guys, if I had said that they were four weeks old. These guys are the weights that we just took on them yesterday. And he looks like he is going to have, he tested end up. So I don't know if his eyes will stay blue or not, but they're looking like they're probably turning a little bit of that hazel color. And he's kind of got a foxy orange tinge to his coat. Can you bring him closer to us, Drew? He's a tiny little cutie. 
He's got that real short nose, and so I don't think he's going to be very big. I think he's going to probably be around 15 pounds, I would say, is what he'll be. All right. Okay, we're gonna move on litter. And these guys here, their weights are at four weeks old. So they won't turn five weeks until Sunday. So this little guy right here at four weeks old, Baxter was 1.4 pounds. So he is a tiny, tiny little dude. Um, I think that he probably will be under 10 pounds, I would say, or right in that 10 pound range. And he is going to be super wooly. He's got the wooliest coat for sure out of these guys. And he has two brown eyes. Um, his genetic test was NN, so that means that he doesn't carry a copy of blue eyes. But he is going to be super wooly and I think that he's gonna look an awful lot like his dad, Champ, which Champ has um, only, he's NN, so he doesn't have any blue in his eyes. <laughs> but he may be little, but you're tough enough to tackle a little lion, aren't you? Hmm? Okay, so next available pup in this litter is Brakita. She's behind me, so let me get her. Or at least Maddie thinks she is. Nope. I don't think so, Maddie. She's in your little puppy pile over there. I've got little Mr. Apollo up behind me. Okay, this is Brikita. And she is a rare blue. And she was two pounds at four weeks old. So I would say she's probably going to be 10 to 15 pounds, probably closer to 15 um, is what I'm thinking that she'll be. She doesn't have real big bone structure or her little nose is pretty tiny, so pretty short little face. She looks an awfully lot like her mom at this age, doesn't she guys? Like almost a spitting image really. In her genetic test, she's clear on everything, but she does, doesn't does carry a copy of blue-eyed gene. She's NN, so like her dad, champ. And she's going to be a super wooly too. Still getting the lion. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the puppies that have found their new homes. We'll talk about Brooklyn here first. Little Brooklyn. <laughs> it's not another puppy getting you, honey. It's just Maddie fixing your collar. <laughs> so this is little Brooklyn. And she was 2.7 at four weeks old. So I'd say she'll be in that 15 pound range, 15 to 20. We'll see what she weighs next week. I can tell better off their five week weight because they've started eating food and then we get to see um, how they're, they're changing and gaining and stuff. <laughs> Look at those beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> oh, you're no thing, aren't you? Yeah, you'll come out of your shell this week. <laughs> These guys have just barely started coming out of the nest, so they haven't been doing just a whole lot. They're a little slower coming out of the nest, I think, because um, it's just nobody's doing a whole lot around here. All right, 
Who have we got next, Maddie? How about, uh, oh, we can talk about little Bitsy. Little itty bitty Bitsy. She is going to be going to France and she has, um, she's end up on her embark test. She is tiny. I don't know that she'll make 10 pounds. I probably think that she won't. She was only 1.2 pounds at four weeks. So she just made it over the two pound mark. Little, little tiny thing. Can you put her down on her back right here, Drew? She reminds me of a little Pomeranian puppy, just really tiny and delicate. So she's going to France, that little girl. And she is a little sweetheart. She looks like a little chipmunk, doesn't she? Okay, next we have little Bailey, and she has two blue eyes. And Bailey was 2.7 at, um, at five weeks old. So she is, or four weeks old, sorry, four weeks old. So she's right the same range as what Brooklyn was. And so I'm estimating these guys to be probably around 15 to 20 pounds. Next week we'll know for sure. If they gain a, w a w pound between four and five weeks, then we have a better idea how much they're gonna do when, when they are eight weeks old. But if they only gain a few ounces, then usually that puts them, keeping them in that smaller range. But I would say 15 to 20 pounds is probably a good estimate for those two girls, probably a little closer to to 15 right now. Are you getting the lion? Hmm? So next we have who? Alexa. Alexa. So we move to the other letter. Let me get my other paperwork out. <coughs> Miss Alexa was 2.6 at five weeks old. So I'd say she's going to be 15 pounds or less is what she's looking like and she's found her new home and she'll be going to um, I think it's Portland Oregon or in that area somewhere and she has two blue eyes and a woolly coat and she's out of Hazel and Champ okay and we have Arctic so this is little still little uh, Alexa Okay, this is tiny little Arctic, and he is he is 2.4 at five weeks old. So I'm thinking that he'll be around 15 pounds, probably, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, he sure has a tiny, short little nose, so probably he'll be a little bit smaller than what originally we had thought. And he has two blue eyes. I still am pretty attached to mama. I just want to see where she's at. Oh, your little teeth are coming in. I can feel them. I can feel those little chompers. <laughs> That's Admiral. Are you coming to get some love too? You sat right on them, Brooklyn. <laughs> she's like, I just want to know where mom is. Get the stupid collar off me. Hmm? You don't like the collar? Okay, so who haven't we talked about yet? Is that it? I think that's it. I think that's a wrap. Are you getting my papers? Huh? Oh, I think I have somebody get back behind me. Move you out here. <laughs> But it was nice and warm back there. Right, little Apollo? It was nice and warm. Mm -hmm. These guys here that are five weeks old, they've started eating food pretty good. Mom's starting to wean them. 
and so next week they'll really come out of their shell once they're weaned they're not as attached to mom and uh, they actually will play with toys more and stuff like that were you sleepy a little abby are you a sleepy little girl hmm? <laughs> okay we're going to post this this time so that you guys can come back and watch it and uh, take a look at the puppies again. We also did new pictures yesterday and they are up on our website already. So you can check them out. And uh, we do pray about where every one of our puppies go. So if you feel led to um, finding out more information and see if one of these puppies are a right fit for your family, we can visit with you and see if um, what size and coat and stuff like that fits more of your lifestyle. Like these two little guys right here, if you're big into hiking, they're probably not going to be as uh, durable as what, say, Admiral and um, uh, Admiral Abby and what's the other, this guy, that guy, Avery, is what those guys are. They'll be hiking buddies for sure, these guys. And uh, if you, we do sell breeding rights, so if you're interested in one of these males that would make awesome breeding prospects, um, just incredible. Their lines are really, really top notch. And we can visit with you that, about that too. We do charge extra for breeding rights, but we do work with people and help them to figure out, you know, um, getting into breeding and stuff like that. <laughs> little arctic climb right on your head he's going to las vegas that little guy but we do fly our puppies if you are interested in one of these guys and you don't live in iowa or around iowa where you can drive we do work with puppy nannies that can deliver to the nearest airport that um that they can fly into at this age you can see how she's kind of turning her head um, their ears have just opened up and so sounds are kind of sharp to them and they're like, oh, what's what's going on? So that's just normal for puppies or for when they're first being handled and stuff like that For them to be just a little bit flinchy because everything is so new to them and their eyesight actually is just developing too They opened their eyes um, two and a half three weeks ago and so their eyesight is still just you know, uh, improving and stuff like that and becoming more clear. So, if you guys want to, look at how cuddly that little guy is. That's little Baxter, so he's still looking. And you can see little Bitsy, she's right there. Not far from Drew, that little one all the time. <laughs> she's definitely going to be a lap dog, for sure. And little Brikita and little uh, Apollo, and this is Avery, hmm? tough guy, tough guy Avery, aren't ya? <laughs> you think you're big stuff, don't ya? Hmm? And then we've got the rest of them that are sleepy there. Okay, everybody, God bless you all, and stay warm. In southern Iowa, it's starting to warm up. We're going to get to the melting point this weekend. Woohoo! Because it has been freezing here and horribly, horribly cold. So our dogs are ready to get out and play and, and uh, have fun digging holes in snow and all sorts of stuff. They were out yesterday for longer than what they have been for a couple weeks because... It's been so cold and oh my, the, they were digging in the snow banks and then they were hiding in the snow banks. This was the adult dogs, of course. And then one would run by and they'd jump out of the hole that they dug and it was just hilarious, the fun that they were having. They were rolling in the snow and just a blast. They love, 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 love the snow. Okay, God bless you all. And if you're interested in one of these guys, be sure and reach out to us and uh, we can give you more information on them.